spoken to you with you abiding but the helper the Holy Spirit which will send the Father in the name of me that one you that one will teach all things you that one will teach you all things and remind you all things which I told you peace I leave to you peace my I give you not as the world gives my peace I give you not as the world gives I give to you not as the world gives let be agitated not let your heart be agitated nor let it be fearful you heard that I told you I go and come to you if you love me you would have rejoiced that I said I am going to the Father because the Father of me is greater than me and now I have told you before it happens that when it happens you may believe no longer many things I will speak with you is coming for of this world the ruler and in me not has nothing but that may know the world that I love the Father and as commanded me the Father so I do rise up let us go from here I am the vine true and the Father of me is the vine dresser every branch in me not bearing fruit he takes it and every branch fruit bearing he prunes it so that more fruit it can bear already you clean are but cause of the word already you are clean because of the word which I have spoken to you abide in me and I in you even as the branch not is able to bear fruit from itself if not it abide in the vine so neither you if not in me you abide I am the vine you are the branches the one abiding in me and I in him this one bears fruit much because apart from me not you are able to do nothing if not anyone abides in me he is cast out as the branch and is dried out and they gather them into fire they throw and they are burned if you abide in me in the words of me and you abide whatever you desire you will ask and it will happen to you in this is glorified the father of me that fruit much you will bear and you will be to me disciples even as loved me the father I also loved you abide in the love of me if the commandments of me you keep you will abide in the love of me even as I the commandments of the father of me have kept and abide of him in the love These things I have spoken to you that the joy of me and you abide and the joy of you may be filled. This is the commandment of me that you love one another even as I loved you. Greater than this love no one has that anyone the life of him lay down for the friends of him. You are friends of me if you do whatever I command you no longer you I call slaves because the slave not knows what does of him the Lord but I called you friends because all things which I heard from beside the father of me I made known to you not you have chosen me but I chose you out but I chose out you and planted you that you should go and fruit should bear that you should go and should bear fruit and the fruit of you abide 
that whatever you may ask the Father in the name of me, he may give you. These things I command you, that you love one another. If the world hates you, you know that before me it has hated you have if the world hates you you know that before you it has hated me if of the world you were the world would the world the own have loved if of the world you were the world the own would have loved but that of the world not you are but I chose out you out of the world because of this hate you the world because of this hate you the world remember the word which I spoke to you not is a slave greater than the Lord of him if me they persecuted, also you they will persecute. If the word of me they kept, also yours they will keep. But these things all they will do to you because of my name, because not they know the one sending me. If not I came and had spoken to them, sin not they had, but now an excuse not they have concerning the sin of them. the one hating me also hates the father of me if the works not I did among them which none others did sin not they had now but both they have seen and have hated both me and the father of me but that may be fulfilled the word having been written in the law of them they hated me freely and when comes the comforter whom I will send to you from the father the spirit of truth from who the father proceeds that one will witness concerning me also you and witness because from the beginning with me you are These things I have spoken to you that not you may be stumbled. Out of the synagogue they will make you to be, but comes an hour that everyone killing you will think a service to bear before God. And these things they will do to you because not they know, because not they knew the Father nor me, but these things I have spoken to you that when comes the hour you may recall them that I told you these things and to you from the first not I said because of you I was but now I am going to concerning you But now I am going to the one sending me, and not one of you asks me, Where are you going? But because these things I have said to you, grief has filled of you the heart. But I the truth tell you, but I tell you the truth, it is profitable for you that I should go away. For if not I go away, the Comforter not will come to you. 
But if I go, I will send him to you. And having come, that one will convict the world concerning sin and concerning righteousness and concerning judgment. Concerning sin, truly, because not they believe into me. Concerning righteousness, because and concerning righteousness, because to the Father of me I am going, and no longer see you me. Concerning and no longer you see me concerning in judgment, because of the ruler of this world has been judged yet. Many things I have to tell you, but not you are able to bear now. But when comes that one, the Spirit of Truth, and he will guide you into all the truth. For not he will speak from himself, but whatever he hears, he will speak. And the things coming will announce to you that one will glorify me because from mine heart will receive and will announce to you all things as many as has the Father are mine because of this I said from mine he receives and will announce to you a little and not you behold me and again a little and you will see me because I go to the Father Therefore said of the disciples of him to one another, What is this which he says to us, A little, and not you behold me, and again a little, and you will see me? Also because I go to the Father, therefore they said, This is what he says, What the little? Therefore, this is what he says, the little. We do not know what he says. Then knew Jesus that they desired to question him. And he said to them, About this do you seek with one another, because I said a little, and not you behold me, and again a little, and you will see me. Truly, truly, I say to you that we weep and will lament you in the world, will exalt to you and will be grieved, but the grief of you into joy will come, but the grief of you will become into joy. The woman, when she bears grief, has came the hour of her, but when she produces the child, she no longer remembers the distress because of the joy that was generated a man into the world. And you therefore grief truly now have again, but I will see you and will rejoice of you the heart and the joy of you no one takes from you. And in that day me not and in that day I will not ask you anything truly truly I say to you that nothing and in that day me not you will ask nothing Truly, truly, I say to you that whatever you may ask in the name of the Father of me, he will give to you. Until now, not you asked nothing in the name of me. Ask and you will receive that the joy of you may be filled. These things and allegories I have spoken to you 
comes an hour when no longer in allegories I will speak to you, but plainly concerning the Father I will announce to you. In that day in the name of me you will ask, and not I say to you that I will petition the Father. Concerning you, for himself the Father loves you, because you have loved me and have believed that I from God came forth. I came forth from the Father and have come into the world. Again I leave the world and go to the Father. The disciples say to him of him, Behold, now with clarity you speak and allegory not one you say. Now we know that you know all things and no need have that anyone question you. By this we believe that from God you came forth. Answered them Jesus, Now do you believe? Behold, is coming an hour and now has come, that you are scattered each one to the own things, and me alone you leave. Yet not I am alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken to you that in me peace you may have, in the world distress you have, but be encouraged, I have overcome the world. These things spoke Jesus and lifted up the eyes of him into heaven and said, Father, has come the hour glorify of you the Son, that also the Son of you may glorify you, even as you gave him authority of all flesh, that all which you have given him he may give them life everlasting, he may give to them life everlasting. And this is life everlasting, that they may know you, the only true God, and whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorified you on the earth, the work perfecting which you gave to me that I should do, and now glorify me, you, Father, along with yourself with the glory that I had before of the world the existence along with you I revealed of you the name to the men whom you gave to me out of the world to you they were and to me you gave them and the word of you they have kept now they have known that all things whatever you gave to me from you is because the words which you gave to me I have given to them and they received and knew truly that from beside you I came forth and they believed that you sent me I concerning them petition not concerning the world I petition but concerning you whom gave to me for to you they are and things my all are yours and all my things are yours and your things mine 
and I have been glorified in them, and no longer I am in the world, and those in the world are. And I to you come, Father holy, keep them in the name of you, whom you gave to me, that they may be one, even as we. While I was with them in the world, I was keeping them in the name of you. Whom you gave to me, I guarded, and not one of them perished, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now to you I come, and these things I speak in the world, that they have joy my having been fulfilled in them I have given them the word of you and the world hated them because not they are of the world even as I am not of the world not a petition that you take them out of the world but that you keep them from evil not they are of the world, even as I of the world not am. Sanctify them in the truth of you, word. Your truth is, your word is truth, even as me you sent into the world, I also sent them into the world. And for them I sanctify myself, that also they may be sanctified in truth. And not concerning these I petition only, but also concerning those who shall believe through the world. But also concerning those who shall believe through the word of them into me, that all one may be even as you, Father, in me, and I in you that also they in us one may be that the world may believe that you sent me and I the glory which you have given me I have given to them that they may be one even as we are one I in them and you in me that they may be perfected into one and that may know the world that you sent me and loved them even as you loved me Father whom you have given me I desire that where I am those also may be with me that they may behold the glory of me which you gave to me because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Father righteous indeed the world you not knew, but I knew you and these knew that you. Father righteous indeed the world you not knew, but I knew you, and these knew that you sent me. And I made known to them the name of you, and will make known that the love with which you love me in them may be, and I in them. These things having said, Jesus went out with the disciples of him across the torrent of Kidron where was a garden where a garden was into which entered he the disciples of him and knew also Judas betraying him the place because many times assembled Jesus there with the disciples of him therefore Judas receiving the cohort and from the chief priests and Pharisees under officers comes there with torches and lamps and weapons 
Jesus, then knowing all the things can be known him, going forth said to them, Whom do you seek? They answered him, Jesus, the Nazarene, says to them, Jesus, I am. And stood also Judas, the one betraying him with them. Then as he said to them, I am, they went into the rear and fell to the earth again. Then he inquired, Whom do you seek? And they said, Jesus, the Nazarene. Answered Jesus, I told you that I am. If then you seek me, allow these to go. That might be fulfilled the word which said, Whom you gave to me, not I lost of them, no one. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it and struck of the high priest's slave, and cut off the ear of him right and cut off the right ear of him and was a name to the slave Malchus then said Jesus to Peter put the sword of you into the sheath the cup which has given me the father not at all shall I drink it then the cohort and the chiliarch and the under officers of the Jews together seized Jesus and bound him and led away him to Annas first, for he was father-in-law of Caiaphas, who was high priest of that year, and was Caiaphas the one having counseled the Jews that it is profitable for one man to perish on behalf of the people, and followed Jesus, Simon, Peter, and another disciple, and disciple that was known to the high priest, and that went in with Jesus into the courtyard of the high priest. But Peter stood at the entrance outside, then went out the disciple, the other who was known to the high priest, and spoke to the portress, and, pro and brought in Peter. Then says the slave woman, the portress, to Peter, not also you of the disciples, are of this man that one says not I am and we're standing the slaves and the under officers a fire of coals having made because it was cold and were warming and was with them Peter and standing warming himself then the high priest questioned Jesus concerning the disciples of him in concerning the doctrine of him answered him Jesus I publicly spoke to the world I always taught in the synagogue and in the temple where always the Jews come together and in secret I spoke nothing why me do you question question those having heard what I spoke to them Behold, these know what I said, but these things on his saying, one of the under officers standing by gave a slap to Jesus, saying, This way answer you the high priest, answered to Jesus, if evilly I speak, answered to him Jesus, if evilly I spoke, bear witness concerning the evil, but if well, why do you beat me? Then sent him. Then sent him Annas, having bound to Caiaphas the high priest, and was Simon Peter standing warming himself. Then they said to him, Not also you of the disciples of him are. Denied that one and said, Not I am. Says one of the slaves of the high priest, a relative being of whom cut off. Peter the ear that I you did see in the garden with him then again denied Peter and at once a cock sounded then they led Jesus from Caiaphas into the praetorium and it was early 
and they not did enter into the praetorium that not they be defiled but they may eat the Passover coming out then Pilate to them and said what accusation bring you against this man they answered and said to him if not was this one an evil doer not to you we had delivered him then said to them Pilate take him you and according to the law of you judge him then said to him the Jews for not us it is lawful to put to death no one that the word of Jesus might be fulfilled which he said signifying by what kind of death he was about to die then went into the praetorium again Pilate and called Jesus and said to him are you the king of the Jews answered him Jesus from yourself you say this or others you said about me answered Pilate not I a Jew am the nation of you the the nation of you and the chief priest delivered up you to me what did you do answer Jesus the kingdom of me not is of this world if of this world was the kingdom of me the servants would they of me have fought the servants of me would have thought that not I should be delivered to the Jews but now the kingdom of me is not from here then said to him Pilate really not a king are you answered Jesus you say that a king I am for I this have been born and for this I have come into the world that I might witness to the truth. Everyone being of the truth hears of me the voice. Says to him Pilate, What is truth? And this having said again, he went out to the Jews and said to them, I not one crime find in him is but a custom to you that one to you I release at the Passover. You decide then to you should I release the king of the Jews then cried out all saying not this one but Barabbas but was Barabbas a plunderer but Barabbas was a plunderer then therefore took Pilate Jesus and scourged him and the soldiers having plaited a wreath out of thorns put it on the head of him and a garment purple threw around him and said hail king of the Jews and they gave him slaps then went out again outside Pilate and said to them behold I bring to you him outside that you may know that in him not one crime I find then came out Jesus outside wearing the thorny wreath and the purple garment and he says to them behold the man then when saw him the chief priests and the under officers they cried out saying crucify crucify says to them Pilate take him you and crucify for I not do find in him a crime answered him the Jews we have a law and according to the law of us we and according to the law of us he ought to die because himself son of God has made because he has made himself son of God then when heard Pilate this word he was more afraid and entered into the praetorium again and said to Jesus from where are you but Jesus an answer not did give him then says to him Pilate 
to me not you speak? Not do you know the authority I have to crucify you and the authority I have to release you? Answered Jesus, Not you had authority, not any against me. If not, it was to you being given from above. Because of this he delivering up me to you a greater sin has. Because of this he delivering up me to you has a greater sin. From this sought Pilate to release him. But the Jews cried out saying, If this one you release not you are a friend of Caesar. Everyone a king himself making speaks against Caesar. Then Pilate hearing this word. Then Pilate, hearing this word, led outside Jesus and sat down on the judgment seat at a place being called the pavement in Hebrew, but Gabbatha. And it was preparation of the Passover hour and about the six. And he says to the Jews, Behold, the king of you. But they cried out, Away, away, crucify him says to them Pilate the king of you shall I crucify the chief priests answered not we have a king except Caesar then therefore he delivered up him to them that he might be crucified and they took Jesus and led away and bearing the cross of him he went out to the being called of a skull place which is in Hebrew called Golgotha where him they crucified and with him others too on this side and on that side in middle and Jesus wrote and also a title Pilate wrote and put it on the cross and it was having been written Jesus the Nazarene the king of the Jews this therefore title many read of the Jews because near was the city the place where was crucified Jesus and it was having been written in Hebrew, in Greek, in Latin, said then to Pilate, the chief priest of the Jews, not do right the king of the Jews, but that one that said king, I am of the Jews, answered Pilate, what I have written, I have written. Then the soldiers, when they crucified Jesus, took garments of him, took the garments of him, and made four parts to each soldier a part. Also the tunic, and was the tunic seamless, from the top woven through all. Then they said to one another, Not let us tear it, but let us cast lots about it whose it will be that the scripture might be fulfilled which said they divided the garments of me to themselves and on the garment of me cast a lot then indeed the soldiers these things did but there stood by the cross of Jesus the mother of him and the sister of the mother of him Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary the Magdalene then Jesus seeing the mother and the disciple standing by whom he loved says to the mother of him woman behold the son of you then he says to the disciple Behold the mother of you, and from that hour took her the disciple into the home, own, into their own home. After 
this knowing and after and from that hour took her the disciples into the own home after this knowing Jesus that all things now having been done that be fulfilled the scripture says I thirst then a vessel was set of vinegar full and they filling a sponge with vinegar and hyssop put around putting around brought of him to the mouth then when took the vinegar Jesus he said it is finished and bowing the head he yielded up the spirit then the Jews since preparation it was that not remain on the cross the bodies on the Sabbath for it was great the day of that Sabbath they asked Pilate that might be broken of them the legs and they be taken away then came the soldiers and of the indeed first broke the legs and of the other crucified with him but on Jesus coming when they saw him already was dead not they broke of him the legs but one of the soldiers a lance of him the side pierced and at once came out blood and water and he seen has witnessed and true of him is the witness and that one knows that true he speaks that you may believe for happened these things that the scripture might be fulfilled a bone not shall be splintered of him and again a different scripture says they shall look at whom they have pierced and after these things asked Pilate Joseph from Arimathea being a disciple of Jesus having been hidden but through the fear of the Jews that he take the body of Jesus and allowed it Pilate then he came and took the body of Jesus and came also Nicodemus he coming to Jesus by night at first bearing a mixture of myrrh and aloes about a hundred litra then they took the body of Jesus and bound it in linens with the spices even as is custom of the Jews bury and was in the place where he was crucified a garden in, in the garden a tomb new in which never yet no one was put there then because of the preparation of the Jews because near was the tomb they put Jesus and on the first of the Sabbath Mary the Magdalene comes early darkness yet being to the tomb and sees the stone being removed from the tomb and she then she runs and comes to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom loved Jesus and says to them they took the Lord out of the tomb and not we know where they put him then went out Peter and the other disciple and came to the tomb and ran the two together and the other disciple ran in front more quickly than Peter and came first to the tomb and bending to look and seize lying the linens not however he went in then comes 
Simon Peter following him and entered into the tomb and he beholds the linens lying and the face cloth which was on the head of him not with the linens lying but apart having been wrapped up into one place then therefore went in also the other disciple the one coming first to the tomb and he saw and believed for not yet they knew the scripture that must him from the dead rise then went away again to themselves the disciples but Mary stood at the tomb weeping outside as then she wept she bent down into the tomb and she beholds two angels in white sitting one at the head and one at the feet, where had lain the body of Jesus, and said to her, Those women, why do you weep? She says to them, Because they moved the Lord of me, and not I know where they put him. When these things saying, she turned to the rear and beholds Jesus standing yet not knowing that Jesus it is, says to her, Jesus, woman, why do you, whom do you seek? That one thinking that the gardener it is, says to him, Sir, if you carried away him, tell me where you put him, and I will take him. Says to her, Jesus, Mary, Turning, that one says to him, Rabbanai, that is to say, teacher, says to her, Jesus, not do touch me not yet, for I have gone up to the father of me, but go to the brothers of me and say to them, I go up to the Father of me, and the Father of you, and the God of me, and the God of you. Comes Mary the Magdalene, bringing word to the disciples that she has seen the Lord, and these things he told to her. Then it being evening, day on that, on that day, the first of the Sabbath, and the doors having been locked, where were the disciples gathered together because of the fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst and says to them, Peace to you. And this saying, he showed them the hands and the side of him, then rejoiced the disciples seeing the Lord then said to them Jesus again peace to you even as he has sent me the Father I also send you and this having said he breathed on and says to them receive the Spirit Holy receive the Holy Spirit of ever whom you remit the sins they are remitted to them ever of whom you hold they are held. But Thomas, one from the twelve, the one being called twin, that was with them when Jesus came, then said to him the other disciples, We have seen the Lord, but he said to them, If not, I see in the hands of him the mark of the nails, and thrust the finger of me into the mark of the nails and thrust the hand of me into the side of him. Not at all will I believe. And after days eight again were inside the disciples of him and Thomas with them. Comes Jesus the doors having been locked and stood in the midst and said, Peace to you. Then he says to them, Thomas, bring the finger of you here and see the hands of me, and bring the hand of you thrust into the side of me, and not become unbelieving, but believing. And answered Thomas, and said to him, The Lord of me, and the God of me, says to him, Jesus. 
because you have seen me, Thomas, you believed. Blessed the ones not seen and believing. Says to him, Jesus, because you have seen me, Thomas, you believed. Blessed the ones not seen and believing. Then many truly and other signs did Jesus in the face of the disciples of him, which not is written in this scroll. But these things have been written, that you believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in the name of him and that believing you may have life in the name of him after these things revealed himself again Jesus to the disciples at the sea of Tiberias he revealed and in this way and he revealed in this way were together Simon, Peter, and Thomas being called twin. And Nathaniel, the one from Cana of Galilee, and those of Zebedee, and others from the disciples of him too. And says, says to them, Simon Peter, I am going to fish. They say to him, We are coming also with you. They went and went up into the boat at once, and in that night they caught nothing. An early morn, and now it becoming, and it now becoming early morn, stood Jesus unto the shore however not knew the disciples however the disciples not knew that however the disciples knew not that Jesus it is then says to them Jesus children not anything for eating have you they answered to him no and he said to them cast to the right parts of the boats cast to the right part of the boat the net and you will find then they cast and no longer it to draw the head straight from the multitude of fish then says that disciple who loved Jesus to Peter the Lord it is Simon then Peter hearing that the Lord it is the coat having girded on he was for naked and threw himself into the sea and the other disciples in the little boat came for not they were far from the land but about from cubits two hundred, dragging the net of the fish. Then when they went up into the land, they saw a fire of coals lying, and a fish, having been laid on and bread, says to them, Jesus, bring from the little fish which you caught now. Went up Simon Peter and dragged the net onto the land, full of fish great, a hundred fifty three and so many be not was torn the net says to them Jesus come break fast and no one dared of the disciples to question him who are you knowing that the Lord it is then comes Jesus and takes the bread and gives to them and the little fish likewise 
This now thrice was revealed Jesus to the disciples of him, having been raised from the dead. Then when they broke fast, says to Simon Peter, Jesus, Simon, son of Jonah, Do you love me more than these? He says to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He says to him, Feed the lambs of me. He says to him again, Secondly, Simon of Jonah, do you love me? He says to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He says to him, Shepherd the sheep of me. He says to him, Thirdly, Simon of Jonah, do you love me? was grieved Peter because he said to him, Thirdly, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you all things perceive. Lord, you perceive all things. You know that I love you. He says to him, Jesus, feed the sheep of me. Truly, truly, I say to you, when you were younger, you girded yourself, and you walked where you desired, but when you grow old, you will stretch the hands of you and another will gild. Gird. Truly, truly, I say to you, when you were younger, you girded yourself, and you walked where you desired, but when you grow old, you will stretch the hands of you and another will gird you and will carry you where not desired and will carry you not where you desire. But this he said signifying by what death he will glorify God. And this having said he says to him, Follow me, turning, and Peter sees the disciple who loved Jesus following, who also leaned at the supper on the breast of him and said, Lord, who is the one betraying you? This one, seeing Peter, says to Jesus, Lord, this one, and what? Says to him, Jesus, if him I desire to remain until I come what to you, you follow me, then my out this word to the brothers that disciples they that disciples not that does die. Then this word to the brothers that disciple that does not die yet. That disciple, that one does not die, yet not said to him, Jesus, that not he does die, but if him I desire to remain until I come, what to you? This is the disciple witnessing concerning these things and writing these things and we know that true is the witness of him. And are also the things many, whatever did Jesus, whatever Jesus did, which if they were written singly, not itself, I suppose the world to contain those having been written scrolls. Amen.